Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a GMC Sierra that generation right here from year 2007 to year 2013. If you have one of those and you need to find where the fuses for the automatic level control are located, two fuses control with guys. Stay with us, we'll explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. But it's important to always test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmission, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. We have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs. We have anything from American to German vehicles, Asian, uh, anything guys. So now uh, if you need to find, let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located all we have to do is just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now so the automatic level control fuses guys where you can expect to find them we will demonstrate on this generation gmc sierra that we have here you have multiple fuse boxes but today we're working just one fuse box that's under the hood so open the hood now here on the driver's side you see that electrical box next to the brake pump okay open it underneath you will find the main engine fuse box with a layout that will look guys really close or exactly like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below here for the automatic level control we need to check two fuses oh by the way if you guys need to buy any fuses relays parts tools for gmc sierra or any car at a good price quick shipping we will put the links in the description of the video below that way you do not waste money and time here the fuse that you need to check okay two fuses by the way let's zoom in a little bit if we come in that section right here towards the windshield towards the back Fuse number two will be the first one that you need to check, that 30 amp fuse. Another fuse that you need to check is fuse number 54. We're talking about this 10 amp fuse right here, guys, that you need to check. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time. 